Bronx and Donks movie tour is officially over. I got to visit some neat places and meet a ton of amazing people. The whole experience has been extremely humbling. I started filming videos on a beat up GoPro and editing them on an old iPhone. But I think it's safe to say that we've come a long way since then. And it's all thanks to you guys. The movie tour and this channel wouldn't be possible without your support. <laughs> I am forever grateful, and quite frankly, I miss posting videos on here for you. So, I think it's time Bronx and Donks makes a return to YouTube. Starting now. We have a ton of catching up to do, and what better of a place to start than the Rocky Mountains? It's dumping on us out here, and I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. We have to gather all of the cattle on the mountain and bring them home. And let's just say, not all of the cows want to come home. <laughs> to start this story, we need to go back to last September. It's fall time and winter is right around the corner. There are cows on the mountain and we have the important job of bringing them home. If we don't find them, the cattle will be trapped on the mountain during the winter months, and their chances of surviving the snow at these high elevations aren't great, especially this winter. The 2023 winter season has given us storm after storm. The state of Utah has set a record for snowpack. And now we're on track to break a snowpack record set in 1983. Over the last few days, we've gathered all of the cattle near the main roads and easy to get to places. Now we're left with the more difficult job of finding the stragglers. They can roam on thousands of acres and it's easy for them to hide in this rough country. So. The next few days should be interesting. All right, we're about to leave the truck here. Daniel's on a coal. Let me stare down the camera with my black steed. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go find some bovine and eat. <laughs> we got old Josh up here. I'll be doing all the work today. Oh boy. Yeah, the union worker over here thinks he's gonna do something. <laughs> you better call your rep up. This ain't approved. <laughs> I'll call my union rep. I'm not scared. We left the truck, and the first place we decided to look for cattle is a few miles down the road near a spring. Okay, we made it to the water trough. Now we're gonna split up through all these trees and go look for cows. Then we'll meet back up on this road and head out. Hunt him up, hunt him up, hunt him up. After searching the area, Dan radioed in with some good news. Hello, Tyler. Go ahead. I just picked up. He found some of the cows, and we eventually had a little herd gathered. I bet they're these. <laughs> Mike's over here. He's got some cows heading our direction. We're gonna meet somewhere on this road and head up this hill. Ladybug's one of a kind. Get her up. There she goes. You can't see it very good right now, but that storm is coming in. I think it's gonna dump on us. Good thing we got our rain slickers. <laughs> yeah, except Josh. <laughs> Union workers, man. <laughs> There's something else. I guess his union rep didn't tell him to bring a slicker. Some of the cows tried turning back, but they didn't make it very far because we have the dogs with us. <laughs> She's on her. Well, that storm is starting to hit us. And Daniel and I have split off from the rest of the group to go find more cows. So, see what we can find. Our herd started getting bigger and bigger, and so did the rain clouds. Mm -hmm. 
it's dumping on us out here and I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. No. What is this kid doing? He forgot his raincoat. I was a union man. <laughs> <laughs> the rain's slowly starting to give out a little bit. Later that afternoon, and a few miles down the trail, the sun came back out. All right, we picked up a bunch more cows right here. So now we're gonna combine the two herds and head down the canyon. We're heading straight down this way. Hey! 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 Little ladybug. Okay, the last place we need to check is right here. And then once they're down this, they're pretty much down. Man, those trees are glowing. That's cool. It's a little bit slippery today, boys. <laughs> it is. We're just heading down the main trail now. Shouldn't be too long until we get to the bottom. Ended up being a great day after it got done raining. Overall, today was easy going, but I can't say the same for the next few days. Hold up, we're gonna pause the video right here for one second because I have something important to tell you. If you've been watching the channel for a while now, you know that we are always going on crazy adventures, but these projects cost money. And we currently have a few big ones coming up like this one and this one. So, Dildash, today's video sponsor, decided to help make some of those future projects possible. Dildash is an online auction site where you can bid on gift cards, electronics, vehicles, and so much more. I edit all of my own videos, and right now I need a new USB converter. So let's go see if we can find one on Dildash. And look at that. I was the highest bidder at $1.06. On Amazon, this product's worth like $60. Now I negotiated with Dildash to make sure you guys would get something out of this sponsorship too. And they decided to give you guys 100 free bids if you click the link in the description below and use promo code Bronx and Donks. Thank you so much Dildash for making our future projects possible and back to the video. Yesterday it was kind of a slow day, we had a lot of the slow cows with us. but. Today we're after the Bramers and they like to run. We have the Bramers located on a distant ridge. Finding them was fairly easy, but catching them will be a different story. Nate and I split up from Mike and we're heading down this ridge. We just glassed up some cows and we're thinking they might be the Bramers. So we're gonna go take a look. These Bramers love to run away from us. So we gotta be on our A game today. That's why I'm on old red here. When they spotted us, they immediately took off. Okay, Nate, I'm gonna run ahead. You stay behind them. Try to catch these up the best you can. They split into two herds, and I decided to catch up to the front herd. This Bramer was leading the herd, and she kept trying to dive down into the trees. After slowing her down, Mike met up with me, and he has the dogs. <laughs> All right, Jazz, come here now. Come here now, dog. Come here now, dog. Good dog. All right. Now that the dogs are here, the cows are easier to deal with. So I'm gonna meet up with Nate and see if he managed to stay with any of the other cattle.
Stay to their left. Stay to their left. Got a boy. Here we go. If they'll just walk, let's just let them walk. All right, we've met the we've met the two herds back up now, and we're about to drop off the main canyon again. Started to rain a little bit, so the raincoat's coming back out. Holy crap! Yeah, let's get off the top of this mountain. <laughs> get ahead! Get ahead! Get ahead! Get ahead! Now that the thunders died out, we only have one thing to worry about. The trail ahead is steep and muddy. Okay, boys, we got the cows through the gate. Another successful day. They're gonna head down that road to the corrals. Lunch time. So yesterday, we gathered this whole hillside down on this big bench right here. Now today, we're up top and we're gonna gather. There's some cows back behind me right here. On this ridge about right there. You can barely see them with this camera. So we're gonna go get them now. We snuck around to get in good position and to nobody's surprise, they took off running for the trees. While we waited for the dogs to stop the cattle, I did my best to persuade them to head in the right direction. Good dogs. Good dogs, Jack. Good dogs, yes. After running away from us didn't work, they tried hiding in the thick timber. Yeah, get it. 
It's like these cows have got in their mind that home's the other way, and we're the bad guy. Over the next few days, the cows made their way off the mountain and into the lower corrals. It feels good to have the cows home, and I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyways. If you're not on a fast horse, it's a good idea to have a good dog with you. And Jazz, well, she might not be easy on the eyes, but she's a good one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bronx and Dogs Movie Tour! <laughs> <laughs>